the IOC d- definitely made the wrong choice uh, in sending the games to Beijing. Um, and, and the reason is because when we look back on these games, even when the athletes themselves look back on these games in a year, in four years, at the next cycle, in 10 years, we're not going to remember these games for Nils' two gold medals. Uh, if Gus wins another gold medal on Saturday, we're not going to remember another medal, sorry, on Saturday. We're not going to remember that performance either when we first think about these games. Instead, we're going to remember the things that Yachu and Jahar are talking about. We're going to remember the way that these games were used to bolster two different authoritarian governments. It was kind of a double whammy for athlete speech. On the one hand, athletes were scared to speak out, uh, especially after the threats from the organizing committee and the, uh, the, the demonstration of the IOC's loyalty in their handling of the Pong Shui case, right? The IOC in that case showed very clearly that they would be uh, working with the Chinese Communist Party to silence an athlete uh, who had spoken up uh, to raise issues of abuse uh, as opposed to protecting the athlete. And so once we saw that combined with the threat from the organizing committee, why would any athlete believe they, were, they would have been safe to speak up at these games? But what's very interesting in the past two weeks is that actually most people in China are not paying attention to the Olympics because their attention are all in one event is in a remote village in Jiangsu province because there was a case of a video that showed a woman who was chained uh, in, chained around her neck in a shed. And she is a mother of eight children. And people were suspected she was human traffic into that village. This is more than a doping issue. This is an issue of child abuse. This is an issue where she had a positive sample And any right sane person, whether in the Olympic movement, you would have told her it's time to go home. Instead, they victimized the victim. They put her back on the ice when the competitors didn't want her there, when the world sport is looking at her as a cheat, and they're asking her to perform. And on top of that, they've said that no one's going to get medals if she should medal. If that's not putting a psychological damage on a young child, I don't know what is. Shame on them, and it should never happen again. It's possible that, that, that UN officials decided to wait until the Olympics were over to publish this report. Well, here we are. It's time. You know, Uyghurs should not have to wait a day longer for concrete steps towards investigations and prosecutions for some of the most serious crimes under international human rights law. They've had to wait for too long already. 